here with a single malt review on December 15, 2022. Unless, of course, you're watching in the future. This is YouTube after all. If it's 2025, leave a comment and say hi. I really want to find out how my 40s are going. Yeah, yeah. Um, people of all time periods are welcome here at the Single mm. Malt Review. We don't, um, we don't discriminate chronologically. Mm. Um, or would that be temporarily? Who knows? Who cares? It doesn't <laughs> matter. It's day 15, which is on Dave's site. So he's going to get his fist in there and, um, and birth... The mystery. Okay. Well, I why have... am I looking? I shouldn't look. That's, that's... I should feel glass. You can feel glass. He's huh? the head is emerging. No, he's got it. Got, got it. Yep. Okay, good. Right? Let's see what we got. I'm feeling strong with this mm. one. I feel we've been the last few. Um, the world whiskey blend, despite and no one is going to get that one. Um, well, unless you tasted that exact same thing, then I guess you, you might have, but I think we are, our picks are beginning more and more surgical. Mm. Well, I keep, um, oops. I keep on emphasizing the importance of not letting first impressions and wild hunches get the best of you, but I keep on doing exactly that. Yep, they'll get you every time. Yeah. Yesterday's delicious Loch Lomond, where I went to Glen Scotia I think for, that was, I think, for reasons. I think world whiskey experts mm. would have gone with you there. Okay. Um, that was such a good... Because I'm, I'm quite familiar with both Glen Scotia and Loch Lomond, mm. and that was a real sneaky one there. Mm. They, they really, really aptly emulated um, that. But enough about that. Let's yeah. get into today, which is a pretty... If that's a, if that's a whiskey-coloured whiskey, then that's, that's a whiskey-coloured whiskey. Oh, there goes a, I think, a thread of peat. A thread of peat? Hmm. Try it. I don't know how they make Ooh. threads in your country, but this is a, this is the full rope of Pete. You could moor <laughs> a boat with this. Oh, that's got a good. With this got a good heat. That is really clearing my allergy plagued sinuses. Yeah, um, this is Isla whiskey. Um, this is Isla whiskey. Mm. Full stop. Right. Um, some whiskies are like, hmm, I wonder, and then some whiskies say, hello, here's the ooh, name ooh, tag. Ooh, yep. This Ooh, is Isla whiskey, and yeah, mm, as you you tasted, I have it smells mm, pretty stout. That in terms is of ABV. That is greasy and fusty and mm. wow. <sighs> yep, okay, graphite grease and hessian okay. sack. We are not mucking around here. This is no nonsense either, um, which gets us um, two points. Mm -hmm. Well, unless we're really really <laughs> up for <laughs> just the embarrassment of a lifetime. Um, that's two points in the bag already because we've got malt whiskey, we've got Scotch malt whiskey. Can we do the third? It's this is whenever it's Isla like this, it's always the bonus round because it's always there's such a yeah. there's such a small little clutch in there. Well, I would rule out Ardbeg and Kilhoman based on what I've tasted. So I don't far. think it's Ardbeg. Yeah, it's not quite. It's not quite there with the peat for Ardbeg. Kilhoman. No, but things are really Kilomen. Kilomen's quite yeah. a um, that's quite a sheepish whiskey. It tends to stay at home. It doesn't mm. tend to tend up in um, independent bottles. And also, it's like just that. got a there's a certain obsidian edged sharpness. They kind of make a blunt brutality yeah. to their peat, which this this is this is different. It's a little. It's gone in a different direction. Yes. All right. Well, here's my process for narrowing down Isla whiskey. Um, so here, here you go at home. Get your notebooks out. This is the this is the mm. tried and true method that I use. Is it exploding with lemon citrus? No. So I don't think it's Kalila. And that rules out one of the big major offenders in Isla Whiskey, especially when you're dealing with something you don't know what is, which I suppose is the whole point of the exercise, so that's a, that's a pointless tip right there. You know, rule, rule that one out immediately. Um, if you've got huge lemon citrus and smoky bacon, but not necessarily every single time, but always the citrus, then you might have a Kalila. If you have got... Like really, really oystery, shellfishy, iodine tang, then you've got Lefroig. And those are the two easy ones. Um, Lefroig, far, far, far less commonly seen in the wild uh, than Colila. Colila is sort of the, the. If you've got an Isla whiskey, clean skin, mm. or otherwise obfuscated in this case, dime a dozen, it's going to be a Colila. Mm. I do not think this is. So okay. that, that makes this a bit more well, peculiar. I don't think this is Lefroig either. This is where guessing gets trickier for me. I haven't had a peated Bunnahabhain in forever, so mm. I couldn't tell whether or not this could Bunna be. Bunnahabhain's tough yeah. because to get peated Bunnahabhain, you have to get heavily peated mm. Bunnahabhain because typical Bunnahabhain is barely peated yeah. at all. So um, it's, it's... They do a, have a heavily peated expression. Yeah. Uh, it's been also forever since I tried any Brooklady, so I, again, I couldn't say 
and this could be one of their many uh, curious and novel expressions. Brooke Lady, again, like Bunnahabhain, their standard output is barely petered at all, mm. oh, and okay. they've got their new PC Port Charlotte right. range, which is their heavily petered range. Right. Um, I'm used to, to Laddie being quite quite a petered offering. Yeah, um, you're probably. I think I think Optimore coloured many people's opinions mm. of of Brooke Lady just because it was such a, a big and petered whiskey and remains. Um, but yeah, Brooke Lady, um, you know, when when Brooke Lady is playing at home. It's not that petered at mm. all, but under their PC label, um, then it sure as hell is. But I don't think that's what we've got here mm. either. Oh, oh. I'm, uh... So then there's Bowmore. Right. Oh, Bowmore mm. is quite a mineral, flinty, stony kind mm -hmm. of a thing under normal circumstances. This may be Bowmore. Right. Mm. Now I have quite a varied selection as well. A good number of different well, offerings. Hmm. So I couldn't, I couldn't even name their current core range. So, oh, they do a various, you know, they do, they do what you'd expect. But yeah, Bowmore very, very rarely raises its head above the crowd in terms of doing special stuff. Not recently, anyway. Add a little more water to that. So yeah, it's up. I'm not going to put any more in. I think I'm at the, I'm at the limit here. I think we're about 46 percent or thereabouts. I don't think we're much stronger. Ooh, we're so close. The other one, of course, is Lagavulin. Is the other heavily peated mm. one. Um, that one, mm, that one used to be such a sure bet because it only ever appeared as, unless it was independently bottled, Lagavulin like 16, and it was big and it was sherry and it was dark, way darker than this, um, and so it was always very, very easy to see coming. Um, now that they do the Lagavulin, what do they call it? Lagavulin light. It's not wee beastie because that's not big. Um, the the Lagavulin eight year old um, has muddied the waters somewhat because that's a bit of a different whiskey. It may yet be that one. Hmm. It may yet be that one. I think, based on the information available, this is too strong, ABV-wise, to be a Bowmore, hmm. because their offerings are at 40% until you start getting into the really um, you know, bananas offerings, and I don't think we've got necessarily a bananas offering here. It doesn't taste old enough. Um, I've ruled out Colila. I've ruled out the Froig because it doesn't have the doesn't have the iodine tang mm. for me for the Froig. Um and you've already ruled out um Kiloman and Ardbeg, which yeah. I think is correct off the bat. Um Bunnahabhain, probably not. Brooklady probably not. Mm -hmm. Um which kinda leaves us kinda like, leaves us quite sure of right other possibilities though. Mainland distilleries that use Isla Peaks yeah, uh, or again yeah, uh, uh, but Le Chug who so have been wrong about guessing we've, before we've been done by Le Chug yeah. in the past mm -hmm. I'll, I'll admit but Le Chug has got such a smoky bacon yeah. that this lacks I would be okay. if it was Le Chug I think I'd be confusing it for Colila rather than gotcha. confusing it for something else I think taking all the evidence into account that we have got a sub 16 Lagavulin here. Okay. It may be Lagavulin eight years old. Right. And that is as bad as clinical, I think, as I can possibly be on this one. Okay. And I don't want to go any longer. So let's see. Aha. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Well, okay. Um, sucks to be us right now because we have Leshig. 10 year old huh. 46.3% stonking great whiskey we tried it quite recently in fact probably only a month or two ago I think the review went live mm. the Le Chic Distillery <laughs> rather the Tobermory Distillery was clearly mm. erected purely to hurt me <laughs> and mimic mm. oh I recall maybe it was a different batch we tried, like a different year's expression we had in our glorious little mini, because um, it was it was very flavorful. It was very, I think, uniquely Isle of Mull. It wasn't so easily compared for Isla, but I could be wrong. We did. I do recall a saying though, it is like the uh, be, be best sort of Isla alternative. I think you actually absolutely ca captioned yeah, the Isla alternative. Isla alternative so. um, <laughs> but in that case, I was so directly mm. comparing it to Colila because of that smoky bacon, which doesn't. Mm. Express here. What a what an absolute <laughs> crushing disappointment. I could not have been more. Hmm. I mean, I we, we we don't say the word professional around here, but I I, I was I tried on that one, man. I tried. God damn it, Lashig! What are you doing? <sighs> mm. Why do you exist? It's it's like the Joker of whiskies. Still fantastic whiskey, it's though. just there, mm. ready to strike. Well, yeah, evidently fantastic yeah. whiskey. What a what a chameleon of mm. 
we've we've mistaken the same distillery or i've mistaken the same mm. distillery in the same damn series of videos <laughs> as both um glendronic hmm. and like a volume. And what other distillery can possibly say that? Could there be two more distinct um, flavors of whiskey in the entire planet? Um, so hats off again to Le Chig. The, the The Joker's trick of distilleries um, has struck again. Mm. Um, and I've fallen for it again. <laughs> what an absolute depressing show that is. I'm just ending the episodes here tomorrow.